Go High Level Town Hall, April 2023. I was there. I'm bringing it all to you. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal, and stay with me. We're going to break it down. So one of the first things I want to mention is that this is the fourth town hall for Go High Level in the year, and there has been so many changes. I don't know how many calls I get on and they're like, well, do you think we can have a weekly update so we can stay abreast of what's happening? And even on the town hall, they asked for, whoa, there's so much coming out all the time. How do we stay up to date? And it is a task because they're moving and integrating and adopting and changing and innovating all the time in Go High Level. And it is really exciting to be a part of. As a business owner, I want you to listen on a different level. We know that I am on a mission to move as many people off of ClickFunnels as absolutely possible because I don't think it's a safe place for you to build your business, thus your life. They have not done what they said they were going to do, when they said they were going to do it, how they said they were going to do it. And I, just for shits and giggles, jumped over to their ClickFunnels Pulse or their track and took a look around what's happened since the last town hall. And I'm here to say, not very much. That should be quite alarming to you. With the amount of marketing and the amount of people that are in that group, there needs to be and should be enough funds in there to continue the development to be where they say it is to be. And it's not. Go High Level has been able to, over and over again, do exactly what they say they're going to do. As a business owner, that's the thing I think you need to pay attention to. It's imperative that you put your business in the right place. I'll link down below the links for the Pulse and for the updates for Go High Level, along with these slides, because we're gonna go through some of them, not all of them, but they'll be there for you. The biggest thing I wanna show you is, in this town hall, they talked about the calendar, the workflow, and the CRM pieces of High Level. And they broke down for us, how is it that they choose what to build and what not to build when? They go to the ideas board, they go to the community group, which is in Facebook. They're always listening and paying attention. Data analysis, how are you and I actually using the system and what is the competitive landscape look like? And then they put it into a planning and prioritization of impact and urgency. Great document here. Next is execution. They go into wireframing for design, developing, and then testing it and then they put it out into the marketplace for feedback. They are not afraid to fail in public. We get the skateboard all the time, as Sean says. Let's get something on wheels. Let's get it out to our people. Do they like it? How do they like it? What changes would they like? What do they hate? And they listen and they make those changes. So it's not perfect out in the beginning and it's challenging for some to understand that. But the feedback is absolutely, they want the feedback. So send it, give it but be kind, I always say. And then data analysis, they're gonna take a look at what's really going on. Then they continually involve the products to serve us better. They did a really quick overview of the calendars, what's been dropped, and then they also talked a little bit more about what's coming. We've got the collective booking so that I could add on a developer and a designer, and then I could also create a calendar very quickly, very easily, and it, is not as cumbersome as it is now to get a real quick calendar up and running. There's gonna be a design overhaul, multiple calendar view, add in some guests, and then there's gonna be a look busy. Look a little busier than you are along with recurring appointments. They're going to give you the ability to do 24, more than 24. We've had the ability to do up to 24 recurring. It's gonna go bigger. Workflows. They've done a lot with regards to membership workflows, adding in some different conditions for the if else. They've added some goals, which are contact tag and remove tag, and then the premium triggers, absolutely. And then what's coming is the affiliate workflow for the affiliate manager, date time formatter. And then in Q2, we're going to see some publish, unpublish, we're going to see the ability to move branches a little bit easier. We're also going to be able to add on multiple users for internal notifications, nested workflows, and then being able to send out according to contact time zone. 
Goal is going to come for booked appointment, a payment received trigger, along with a custom webhook response. Number formatter, inbound webhook, it just goes on and on. Creation flow upgrades is going to get easier. And you probably already noticed some of this in here by the time this airs, that the templates and the ability to see the workflow previews. And then if there's some conflicts from the ability to pull in a workflow in a snapshot, it's going to start to give us some of that. There's a piece missing here. We've brought this in, but you might want to take a look at this. And then under the CRM, what they've done is they've given us some UI or UX enhancements. You're seeing those all over the place. Company objects to be able to delete and audit under the companies, other releases, smart lists, performance enhancements, very big. Upcoming releases, we've got multiple email per contact, which dropped yesterday or the day before, the ability to sort opportunities, through filters, custom fields for opportunities are coming. That was a big one. Create standalone tasks that are not for attached to a user. The option to search for different tags, upcoming release, multiple phone numbers, company notes, folders for custom values, filters, and a few other things. Again, I'll drop these slides for you. Conversation module, CC ability inbound, Two-way sync for Gmail has been dropped. Performance enhancements. Go ahead and pause the screen. Two-way sync for Gmail. And then, oh, I might have had those in there twice. Upcoming releases. We've got filter messages by channel. It's going to get easier. Filtering messages by activity. CC, BCC for outbound. Enhancing the two-way sync for Gmail and Outlook. It's going to be really powerful op options for us downloading conversations, getting a number of how many unread messages we have, connect your personal, syncing, incoming, outgoing, few other changes on the Gmail, notification manager version number two, and then some other releases with regards to Google My Business, Facebook, and some UI there as well. And then upcoming, we're going to be able to give a little bit better permissions, and we're going to have the app marketplace with a few more apps that you and I could add in ourselves, right? If I developed one. And then I also have lead ad, LinkedIn lead ads coming, multiple pages per account for Facebook and Google My Business, very powerful. And then some more UI. And then it was a, that's all folks. And I'm like, that's all folks. Holy macaroni, that's a lot, right? And then in the conversation for another hour and a half, we ask questions and we get in and we dig in. The other really big one was WhatsApp. They've finally been able to sign the paperwork and they've got all of that kind of gone back and forth and now they're in the testing, working out the bugs, et cetera. So that one's gonna be really powerful when it drops. But what I really wanna hear and really wanna reiterate to you again is that Go High Level is dedicated to building the best software for you. There's something that Sean said in the interview that I had with him. I'll link that down below for you as well. A bad day for him is when somebody doesn't understand what it is that they're trying to do. And it can be very challenging to understand when the transparency or we don't have the experience to really sit and have dealt with it ourselves. But as a business owner, we can only imagine the financial, the personal, the work pressure, the staffing, all of the legal issues, I'm sure, like there's got to be a tremendous amount happening on the back end that they deal with, but yet they still pump this out month after month. And there's more that's going to come that's not even on this list. There's more that's been dropped that's not even on this list. So if you, let's just take a look at this change log. If you'd like to vote for, if you would like to suggest, absolutely go ahead and search it. If you see here the email builder, you'd like to make a few changes. Click on this, open it. Yes, I like that one. Email reporting, yes, I like that one. Go ahead and take a look at all of these. But you can see in progress, planned, in progress, upcoming. They don't put that on there if it's not in progress, unlike somebody that I know. In progress. If you go back to my videos and watch, this will have not changed because here's the pulse. March 30th, 19 new templates, 16 new templates, 37 new templates. What's going on with the templates, folks? Go ahead, level's the place to be.
your next step, how about a trial? You can start a 14 day free trial. If you'd like to join me, that would be amazing. And then once you do that, you'll get a notification to jump on a call with me and we'll take it from there. Questions, comments, concerns down below? Absolutely. See you on this journey.